Okay, the next lock we're going to look at is the second most common. It's probably even more common in the Kempo systems uh, as far as a finishing move, and that's the inside wrist lock. The most common way to learn this is just from a shoulder grab. And come up and grab your shoulder. Now, again, this is called the inside because you're going to bring the hand to the inside of the body like so instead of the outside. So we're going to grab it the same way, except this time when we grab, we're grabbing the other side, down where the pinky is. And we roll it over, and as we do so, we step back. Now, this is where most people mess up the lock. They stop right here. Now, if you notice, Lee is still in a position that he could really counter if he wanted to. He could bend his elbow. He could try to fight with his other hand or even legs because he still has 100% stability. Now, you don't want to point the fingers at his head this way. You want it more of a 45. See, so he's already starting to lose his stability there, and then you push and pull. He goes right down, and I have to do very little to get it done. Okay, again, the shoulder grab. Now, if you also watch, if I just step back, how he just, you know, my almost releases on its own, and he gets outstretched. So a lot of times you'll stretch and step back and do this, and then you'll step back one more time. And then you've got the lock. Now, the most common way this is done, uh, the first technique that you actually see it in is in passing the horizon. So if you look, you got past on the horizon, the guy grabs you, you do your elbow, you step out, and you're in this position. You pretty much got the lock. All you have to do is grab the hand now, and you've finished it. The other way that you'll see it in the Kempo system is in spiraling wrists. Let's just do this straight on. So as he comes in and grabs, you, you do the technique, and you step out. So here's the lock right there. You're going into your inside wrist lock. There again, don't stop with the fingers in this position. Turn the hand to a 45 and push and pull. So I'm going to push with my thumb and pull with my fingers. And you can see I don't have to do anything. I have little effort on my part. And that's how you do the inside wrist lock. Determined to give me a tap out on that one.